In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to clear cache on your iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro. Now these instructions will also work on all the iPhones, but for this tutorial, I'm using the 16 Pro Max. Now clearing your cache on any iPhone is not a straightforward process. It basically includes doing a couple of things and clearing cache from many uh, different apps and uh, system files, just depending on how that particular app or that particular uh, piece of software collects cache okay so the best way to clear cache on your iphone 16 is first of all to close background running applications okay so if you have apps running in the background they are obviously occupying some uh they obviously have some cache data running and the best thing you can do for yourself is to close those apps so let's say you have some apps running i'm just going to open some random apps like this and exit like that exit so what you want to do is swipe up hold and then for all the apps running in the background go ahead and close them that helps to uh, clear the ram first of all and also some apps when they're closed they automatically clear their cache okay so that's one thing you can do now the other thing you can do is to clear cache from your browser or from your browsers browsers are notorious for collecting a lot of cache data and so if you go to your browsers and clear cache uh, from each browser individually, then you might have cleared a lot of cache data. So let's start with Safari. So go to settings. Under settings, scroll down and find Safari browser. You might have to go all the way to the bottom and tap on apps and then find Safari in the S section. Here we are. Tap on that. And then under Safari, if you scroll, You can scroll and you will see the option to clear history and website data. So tap on that and then this is going to allow you to clear the cache. So clear history, that's going to clear the history and cache data. Now the next thing you can do is to clear cache from Chrome. So a lot of people either use Safari or Chrome on their iPhones. So let me find the Chrome browser, which I don't have. So in case you had Chrome, then you can always go ahead and also clear cache from Chrome. Now, I'm going to leave that video linked in the description on how to clear cache from Chrome. The other thing you can do to clear cache data is to restart your iPhone. Restarting your iPhone basically clears a lot of cache data from a lot of apps which are holding all that cache data. So if you stay for too long without restarting your iPhone, then it might accumulate too much cache data. So what you want to do is restart. So you can either just turn off and then turn it back on. So I'm just gonna turn off the iPhone, give it a couple of seconds, maybe about 15 seconds, and then turn it back on by long pressing on the side button. And allow the iPhone to restart. Now, you can also clear cache by offloading some apps that harbor a lot of cache data or that keep a lot of cache data. So for instance, if you go into settings and then go to general and then under general, go to iPhone storage, that's going to list for you all the apps on your phone. And you can even arrange these apps according to size. So if they're not arranged according to size, just do that. And then you can scroll and find apps that have a lot of cache data. So for instance, if you look at an app like NFS, okay, and game apps like this, the apps you use more keep more cache data. Uh, in fact, we have Chrome. I had mentioned we don't have Chrome, but it seems I had, I had hidden the app in a previous video. Anyway, so let's go to an app like Snapchat. Okay, so you can see the app is 272.4 MB, but the documents and data is 446.2 MB. That means the documents and data is even larger than the size of the app itself. And that means there's a lot of cache data on Snapchat. So just a, I'm just using this as, as an example. You can do this for all apps that are occupying a lot of space, especially in the documents and data section. So what you need to do is go ahead and offload the app. So just tap on offload and then confirm you want to offload. That's going to offload that app. 
and then now if you try and reinstall the app the app will come back but it's going to retain your documents and data so let's see how much space is in documents and data the app size now it's 272 mb now the other thing you can do is just completely uninstall the app and reinstall this okay so you can come here select delete app confirm you want to delete it's going to get the app deleted and then you can go to the apple app store and reinstall the app so let's go ahead and reinstall snapchat should be a quick process i think and if you have the snapchat password saved in your passwords app then it should be good to go as soon as you install it's going to get right back up there you go it's a quick install let's tap on open and then let's log in And you can see we have snapchat back so now let's go and see the snapchat application let's close this and then reopen it so let's go to settings general iphone storage and let's look at how much space snapchat is occupying so i'm just gonna go and select show all let's try and find snapchat so you can see snapchat now only has 49.3 mb in the documents and data section which means we have saved over 600 MB of space. So that was all cache data. Now, I understand this is a very frustrating and long process to do this, but it's really the only way to do it on your iPhone right now. There's no button to just tap on and clear cache, but that's the best way to do it. And you can do it for all your top 10 apps, and that's going to clear a lot of cache. If you have time, you can clear more of those. So that's basically how to clear cache on your iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro and also previous versions of the iPhone. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even subscribe for more tips. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you or I'll talk to you in the next one. Good luck.